My name is Philip Shepherd, and I'm a composer and a cellist. And for the 2012 Olympics, it's been my job to rearrange all of the national anthems of the world for the medal ceremonies. In all, there were 205 countries that had to rewrite the anthems for. They are designed to work for when the flag is raised for the gold medal winner and you've got a window of 60 to 90 seconds. Now, of course, music doesn't really work in the same way as cutting bits of fabric. You know, things have to resolve, they have to come to a certain chord. So there's obviously kind of a massive range of styles that you're dealing with. The cliche is that a national anthem is sort of a brass band and it's a march. Actually, there's a surprising number of anthems which are little waltzes or which are, which are songs. That's the Bhutanese national anthem. I mean, you've got maybe an anthem like Uganda's, which is 16 seconds long, and, and so you have to kind of set, uh, build a set of variations to make it last longer. Whereas Uruguay is massive, it's 6 minutes 50, so it's a case of deciding what to leave out without offending anybody at all. So, this is the UK anthem, and it's slightly different. Um, we, had, we had Jonathan Edwards, the triple jumper, come in and play play that note there on the cymbals. Gold medal cymbal crash there. <laughs> There's a quite an arduous process of getting each anthem approved, which luckily my job sort of stops at that point in as much as I kind of send it off and it's then dealt with by what can only be described as a diplomatic team, I suppose. Um, if there are changes that need to be made, then it's, it's great. I normally know exactly what needs to be done. Quite often an anthem has changed, maybe fundamentally, from when we recorded it to when it's actually being used in the game. So that's been the case with, with a few of them. We've actually had to re rewrite them as new pieces of music. Music's always been a fundamental part of the Olympic Games because it's, particularly in the modern Olympics, that the arts in the whole have actually run as a parallel festival and a parallel competition, actually. Um, since the modern Olympics were introduced. So, and I think that's, that's changed in as much as now it's a celebration of music, art, theatre, film, everything. Whereas I think, particularly in the early 20th century, it was actually a major competition, for instance, for composers. It, you know, had I been around then, I would have been frantically composing a symphony to enter for an Olympic medal, which, which seems quite extraordinary. But I suppose at the same time, we're rewarding medals here in the first London Olympics for sheep shearing and jumping through hoops and rolling barrels. So, you know, it's evolved. And I think music, rightly, is not a competitive venture. These days, I think music is kind of something that's a completely open field and, and my working day will involve say working with a classical orchestra, working with a dance act. I write with a group called Uncle, uh, I've been writing with the Chemical Brothers, um, but at the same time also working with rock musicians too. I mean for me it's just, that's just normal because it's just music. We're all using the same 12 notes anyway.